Hey guys, before we get started with this video, I need to show you guys some. Basically, I need to know why in the world if I just start this up for like a few seconds and then if you give me a moment basically you see it literally shows zero bytes even though it's only like 10 seconds you, if any of you guys have an idea how to go about fixing this please let me know in the comments below also anyways if you're new here please like subscribe to the little dinger down below but if you're not new here not subscribed please like subscribe to the little dinger down below also please go to the description and check out my discord but anyways let's get the video started hey guys me matthew again today i'm gonna be playing some minecraft origins specifically the one that i created or basically I just have to press this button. I get an emerald. And I just have to put this up in the hopper. And so many things go right. Oh. There we go here. Now some items should appear in this chest. Of course it will take a moment. And in case if you're curious on what Minecraft Origins is about, basically, basically you end up getting a random roll that gets, well, that basically tells you what kind of abilities you are in that, or what, what abilities you have for the type of creature that you are and it will completely affect how you play along the strategies you'll go about doing as you continue on playing. And at the moment, this isn't a realm. So, yeah, I just realized I'm in creative mode. I thought I put myself back in survival. Oops. But yeah. These individual armor sets allows you to have specific abilities as well. And at some point, I should be teleported to the actual spawning plinth, where I actually get. You go on ahead and go around. But yeah, at the moment, this is not a realm. Oh, oh, jeez. Yeah, I am not in the mood to deal with phantoms right now, so. But yeah, basically, I'm a Smilo Anix, which is pretty much a Smilodon, aka a Saber Two Tiger, with Phoenix Angel wings and 
Well, I get to fly around in that and so on and so forth. Now let's see, is there a village nearby? Oh, and if you die before you actually set up a place for yourself, whatever cool abilities you have effect wise, let alone special items in your inventory, like the sword, the bow. Basically, will disappear. But anything like the spyglass, and of course, the original origin, including the fireworks and totems, will stay. And if you don't have your bed, you basically have the option to re-roll and find out where new origin is going to be. But anyways, let's look oh, oh here's a village you're probably wondering why do I want to be near a village well I have to have the iron farm I gotta have it Plus, I have to be able to actually defend myself and so on and so forth. Also, this gives me the opportunity to do plenty of trading in that. Also, question. What are the odds that two of these would end up spawning right next to each other? And what are the odds of that? Like... <laughs> And I'm sorry if if I am using my phone for this. I'm very, very sorry, but as you saw in the beginning of the video, I'm in a little bit of a pickle. Oh, so, yeah, like I said, if you have any suggestions for me on how to fix the whole zero bytes ordeal, Please let me know in the comments below. But yeah.
anyways. Let's give myself an axe, a pickaxe, shovel. Let's save the hell for later. Yeah, let's get to the building process. But yeah, as you can see on my right, I have basically a whole bunch of speed. pretty fast and because of my unique stature I can literally cause water turn to ice instantly wherever I touch in case if you're wondering how long I basically made it so it's just about infinite but As we all know, some good things must come to an end. Especially, as I found out on another, well, on a copy version of this world, if I die using the totem, all those effects go away until I end up stepping on a pressure plate, which I will set up as soon as I get my house done. Well. Get my effects back. Probably thinking to yourself, isn't that a little cheatsy weetsy? It is, but hey, this I have to keep those who join happy so they don't end up having to lose their effects. Okay, if I can. There we go. Like permanently. Well, specifically, those end up getting a feline sort of role. But yeah, I have quite big jump boost, which actually helps me be able to fly without problems. But overall, Not what I was meaning to do. I meant this. Trust me, it's a. It can be a little awkward for me doing this with a tripod and my phone in the way. So, yeah, apologies. But. Hey, I can only do what I can do.
tickets. Oh, jeez. I need to go in. Can't believe I'm actually having to sleep in this blue bed. And as you all know, my favorite color is red. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, red, black, white, and gold are actually my favorite colors. So, oh yeah. <laughs> And you got to admit, those colors just work pretty well together. And no, I am not really obsessed with gold because you don't really hear me going on about gold all the time. And if you're an Aphmau fan, you pretty much understand what I mean by I'm not an Ian. But yeah. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah. Oh, and um, if you're wondering what a Smilodon is, basically it's a is the genus name for a saber tooth tiger. And since technically speaking, this is like a hybrid type, I get the pleasure of going about some uniqueness with my origin. And And before you ask, no, I did not make the other books. To be, well, like this. I actually made them so that if somebody, like like one of you guys or girls, joined and ended up getting that lucky book, basically you just have to teleport me over and well. I get to help you out with all that. So, all that. The proper effects for the or your custom origin to actually work out for you. Also, if any of you guys in the in the comments below actually know the hermit crafters like Jim Knight, Hey, Pearlescent Moon, Sausage, Scar, Doc, and so on. Well, let's just say they kind of, them gain into new life with the exception of Doc, of course. Basically, they kind of got me to be in the mood to go about this whole ordeal. So, oh, <laughs> yeah.
So without them, I wouldn't be doing this. But yeah, please go on ahead and check out the con and because trust me, once you see the amazing stuff that they do on Minecraft, if you don't already watch them already, I'm sure you'll be blown away by what all they can do. Because they are amazing builders. Especially Gemini and Pearlescent Moon. Those two really know how to make a build look good. They really do. If you don't believe me, well, like I said, go check out their, go check out their videos, let alone their channels, and please be sure to like and subscribe to them, because I'm pretty sure you all pretty much enjoy what they do. Anyways, I'm going to do something I normally wouldn't do, but I'll be back when my house is done. And the house is officially been built. I know it's not the prettiest, but trust me, it'll be worth it. As you can see, I have some berry bushes. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Got myself a flower pot with a poppy. There isn't any other flower pots around, so I can't make another one. Unless if I wanted to go out around and See if there is any clay. Which there is, actually. There. That should be plenty. Well. More than enough, really. Now let's put you in the furnace. But anyways, let's finally read this book. Congratulations, you've caught the smile and next origin. You can go fast, you're strong, your feet turn water into ice, you can fly, you take no fall damage, <laughs> and you can light things on fire. Now go out, build your house, and have an adventure. Now I know this could have been better, but there's only so much you can do with commands, especially here on Bedrock Edition. So, not my fault. Now 
Now then. Boop. 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 Burp. Not you. Are you kidding me? Um, can you get out of my house, please? Out of my house. Out of my house. Out of my house. Out of my house. Go with your parents. Hey. Do I need to kill you? I know Darn Golem will get angry at me if I do, but I need you to stay out. I might just kill him. I just might. Um, it's on hard. Ouch. Thanks for the iron. Now then. Come on. There we go. Should I reverse it? I think I'm going to reverse it.
basically, like, sorry if I just don't talk from time to time. Like, once I get focused, it's kind of hard for me to feel consciously get myself out of it. But, like, basically, my whole plan is to go to myself a base. Well, basically, basically, I get my origin, go out, find a village, make myself a home. Build a basement under my home so I can go on ahead and make myself a storage system. under it, make an iron farm, along with mob farm also I can go on a head and well connect it all to my storage system so I can go on ahead and have as much stuff being sorted and organized as much as possible. And I know I'm going to need to be going as deep as I possibly can with this so I can actually spread out This is just the starting point of the whole thing. So trust me, things will get better over time and in fact I may even give my house a modification. by modification, I of course mean making it ho oh, and of it looking so of it Looking ugly on the outside. It actually looks good on the outside. Not to mention having a bit more room. already that time, huh? Alrighty.
go. If y'all have any suggestions for what all exactly I can do to Make my house look better. Please don't be afraid to refer to a video for me in the comments below. In fact, I was actually thinking about extending out this way just a little. Just cause. I think I have an idea for a defense system. More accurately. It's anti villager. But yeah, I get to just open that up. Rip these up. Do this to check out my flowers on that. Hey, don't blame me. Don't blame me. They're red. Thank you. Anyways. But yeah, anyways, I think I'm just going to end it right here. So yeah, if you if you guys want to see more, please like, subscribe, and press the little ding down below. But if you're not new here, not subscribed, please like, subscribe, and press the little ding down below. But anyways, have a nice day or night, whichever the case. Oh wait, All right? Please don't forget to check out my disc or in the description below. And <laughs> please, I could really use the help with my Elgato so I can actually no longer have to use my tripod and phone. Please, I really need the help just to figure out that one little bit. It really could help me. So please, if you know how to take care of that for me. Please tell me in the comments below. Please. But anyways, have a nice day or night, whichever the case. Bye!